What's up guys, it's JC and I'm just talking to you about the new map pack or not so much a map pack but the new two maps that are coming out for the Last of Us Remastered version that Naughty Dog said they will be giving to gamers for free and that is due to the fact that they released uh, the remastered version on PS4 and when it initially came out it had a lot of issues for the matchmaking. I'm talking about you can literally be sitting in a, a matchmaking session waiting on other players for up to 10 15 even 20 minutes if you would just sit there and wait like i've experienced it before like i'm talking about if you had an hour to game you might get two matches in and that's because half your time is spent sitting waiting and it was it was ridiculous and it was like if you had a party like if you had friends that you were trying to play with it made it that much harder to find a match so it was it was it was not fun at all it would take you out of the experience a lot um, naughty dog made note of this a lot of gamers you know as we do used our voice and uh, complained about it and change has come they have made a a patch and the patches make things a lot better you know granted you still might be waiting a little bit longer for a match than you would in the ps3 version at this point because obviously they've had plenty of time to patch that version and make it more efficient from a technical standpoint um but we're still you know they're still getting it together for the ps4 version and as their way of apologizing or making things right they're still working on uh patches to make it better more streamlined but in the meantime while they're working on that they're also going to be releasing two new maps for free for the PS4 gamers. Now, they haven't stated whether the PS3 gamers are going to get these maps for free, which makes leads me to assume that they won't, you know, since they're not the ones experiencing the problems. And I'm pretty sure they're going to release it for PS3 gamers to potentially purchase. But, you know, don't take my word for it. I'm, I'm just making assumptions at this point. Um, but anyway... I just wanted to discuss what type of maps I think they should probably make, or if you think about it, what maps they have yet to make. Um, as we know, a lot of the times when it comes to uh, multiplayer maps, they're derived from the single player campaign experience, and they just take maps and locales from there and just redefine them for the multiplayer experience. You know, so. Uh, for example, this map, you can find it in the main game, but it doesn't look like this. Obviously, they reshaped it and retooled it, so it's a multiplayer map, but it's still inspired from a locale within the actual game. But um, I was just thinking about areas or locales that they have not used from the single player game, and two of them that I would want is that I would want uh, uh, the hospital. You know, for those who've played the game, if you've made it to the hospital, um, the hospital is a really cool level. Um, I think particularly it interests me just because of, you know, it helps me to reflect that certain given times within the game. And I thought that was a really cool time in the game itself. And um, the hospital is a fairly big area. Obviously, like I said, they'll retool it for multiplayer if that were the map they were to use. Um, it lacks verticality though. Obviously they could add verticality to it. Um, they could have different levels, maybe holes in the floors or ceiling, depending on if you're on the top floor or not. Um, you know, I, I think it'd be a great map. It's it more so be equipped for you to hide. You know, there'd be a lot of side rooms for you to hide in and a lot of big open spaces instead of being claustrophobic and confined to smaller rooms say such as the checkpoint map you know um i would enjoy it i would enjoy it and it might actually make for a pretty decent sniper map granted i'm no sniper but i mean you know there there's always great to have maps that can inspire different ways of of gaming you know different ways of approaching situation so there's that um another map another map Another map that I really enjoyed was the uh, hotel. 
Yeah, the hotel. I'm pretty surprised that they haven't made a map for the hotel yet. The hotel was like my favorite area early on in the game. And it's still not too early on in the game, but you know, it comes within the first, I don't know, five, four or five hours of the game. Um, that was the first map in the main campaign where I felt as though it was finally somewhat of an even match to where I have just about all the um, all the abilities to craft anything that I need for combat. And I also had a pretty decent arsenal of weapons under my belt. So that was the first time I felt like the playing ground was even. And then by the time you get there, they just start throwing all types of crazy enemies at you, you know, of different variations as well. And it's just such a long map. And you that's the first time I really feel like you have to learn how to conserve, you know, ammo or uh, crafting materials. You just have to learn how to conserve, especially if you're playing in the harder difficulty levels. So that's, you know, that was like the first main time that the game had my heart just pumping and racing, especially when you're playing on like survivor mode where you lose your ability to um, use hearing, the yeah, um, listening mode. So it's, it's, again, I'm just, I'm just going based off of how these maps make me feel in the main game. I think they were amazing then, so why not just bring it back for multiplayer? You know, it gives people the ability to reminisce on that, and it's just, they would make for good, genuine multiplayer maps, I think. You know? But um, that's just my opinion, guys. If you have one, or if you have specific types of maps that you would want them to make, even if you don't know which locale you would particularly want, what type of map, do you want it to be vertical? Um, do you want it to be more flat with a lot of places to hide? Do you want a nice condensed, uh, smaller map where it's a lot more claustrophobic? Or would it be a map that is a lot more wide open, in, an inside map, an outside map, a nighttime map, a daytime map? I mean, the options are endless, guys. Just let me know. All right. But in the meantime, we're going to sit back and all wait together. And I'll probably make another video of myself playing those new maps when they release. But up until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to let it ride out. I go in a little bit. So enjoy that. And as always, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. This is JC, and I am out. Peace. One. Cover me. Good to go. I'm all done. Let's go.
try some smoke on for sight. I want Tori! One. Fuck, I can't keep going like this. Shit! Shit, I have to wrap this up. Let's finish them off. There must be just a handful of them left to last. Damn. That fuck is dead. Coming back. Assholes didn't know what hit him. <laughs> 